back to this new tutorial today i'm very very happy to announce to you that we have some great feature upcoming for the under development blue score 2.4 so today tutorial will be about all this and exciting feature so we have many things to cover today so let's dive in so as you can see the first thing inside of my blender you can see there is something pretty strange there is this bar and you have all the assets of the Lusco online library in case you don't already know it is the Lusco uh, official library that is made by Drive Studio to make it to give you access to a lot of pre-made high quality assets ready to use uh, in the past, there's uh, asset were available on the Dravia Studio website, but because not many of you know about it, so we decided to build a Blender Kit like add on inside of Lusco engine. So we have now direct access for everyone to the entire library. This is a great news. So, in case you want to test it and use it, so i show you how you can get this uh, update and we also talk about some nice features that are already developed by the lusco developer inside of the engine aside from lol okay lol is lusco online library so how to install the lol library so the first thing you need to do is to install the lastest delivered so how you get access to the last del build so you come to the forum of the lusco uh, engine and in the new section you get access to the lusco daily automatic build click on it and as i save to every new user this uh, third post of the the trade you click on the blend lusco you need to download the last master uh, uh, version of the blend lusco add-on and also the lastest build of the Lusco engine okay if you download you click on this you have an automatic download for the blend Lusco as you can see on my uh, website uh, my web browser here and if you click on the the engine add-on you get there's free uh, package so you have a package for mac a linux version and a windows version you just download the version according to your to your operating system and then when it's done after come here you have both the lusco and the blend lusco zip file you just need to let me delete this this is a test you just need to unzip the blend lusco master and when it is done you need now to unzip the lusco zip file you have inside some file and you need to copy this file inside of the bin folder inside the blend lusco so you have the unzipped blend lusco the zipped unzipped blend lusco uh, file here you go in the bin folder and you copy everything inside of the lusco add-on inside the blend lusco master folder okay when it's done you get this uh, this folder you can rename it in case you already have a blend lusco add-on already installed on your uh, your blender you can change the name so you can run two different version of of lusco inside of your your blender without uh, problem okay so i remain in blend lol okay blend lux lol okay so i have this folder so you can copy the folder and you need to pass the folder inside of your app data roaming blender folder so if you come here in my site go in the render engine I have this Lusco version here and I also have another version here the 2.4 installed here so I can run different version of Lusco 
so I can run the daily build to follow all the development and run the official version if I want. So you have a folder here. If you look into your your add-on installation of Lisco, you will see a folder. Say user, your name, and you have to copy your new your new file here. You do rename file, rename folder inside of the same folder where the original uh, Lisco add-on is installed. Okay, all the add-on inside Blender go into this folder so you have to copy this in your, your folder and when it's done just enable the add-on i have done same here i just enable the version of lusco with the add-on enable here and you can see some change okay for those who don't know now lusco now support cuda so in the past lusco use opencl api to render on both AMD and NVIDIA GPU but this is no longer the case because we are developing some interesting feature about uh, real-time rendering about RTX about uh, uh, some new stuff you will discover so we decide to go for CUDA for NVIDIA GPU and OpenCL for everything inside NVIDIA like AMD and maybe in the future uh, Intel so you have to select your API after you check the box you have to select CUDA or OpenCL and you also have access to the Lusco online library lol so you get the folder where Lusco is installed global file directory and you also have a project asset sub directory so you can change this directory you can also change the size of the bar the main bar of the asset library here by typing what you want by default it is 96 so if i go and save the preferences you see that all the file the thumbnail get bigger okay now you can see i have some green uh, color inside of some of the assets here yep. and here there's a color are here to show you that these assets are already downloaded so because the assets are online when you click on asset and drag into your scene you get the asset downloaded from the web server to your uh, your project okay but because i have some assets already download i can just drag them and have them instantly in real time uh, display on my project but let's say i have uh, this one and it is not ready it is not downloaded so if i click on on a not downloaded file you will see that the file will start to be downloaded okay but you have to switch from Cycle or EV to Lusco to see this library. If you switch from Cycle to Lusco, you will not see the bear. So you need to have uh, the N out key pressed. So you get Lusco online library. Okay. You press N and you get Lusco online library. And you can uncheck this bar and check so you can see the library you can also change how the library bar is displayed and positioned inside of your viewport you can drag it like this you can change the size like this you can put it vertically or horizontally as you want and you can press t so you get the library bar totally on the left side left side and you have all the assets here you can also increase the size so you get free row of uh, asset directly so you see you have a lot of assets available for free so ready to be downloaded and also you can reduce the size as we have done here and edit preference come here 
and reduce the size so I like it to be 64 and save close and you see I have okay I have the the library it is very nice okay so you have many different kinds of assets ready to be used as you already know so I hope you will go inside and check all this feature so for the development of the library we want to add more and more assets as you can see and now for now we have decoration we have 64 pack of assets meaning uh, that you have more than 100 of assets for decoration and you have uh, 24 uh, furniture assets these number are going to explode in the next feature so i hope you will support the project so we can get very very far in the development of this new feature inside of the score so as i tell you now you don't need to go inside of the score to get uh, you don't need to go outside of the score to get uh, your assets with the score online library you can also support the project uh, the loose core project directly by clicking on donation button source so you get uh, direct access to the, the the support page of the score so you can just become a supporter just by giving some dollars you don't need to to, to go elsewhere and you also have the opportunity to support the Lusco library so we can add more and more assets in the future you click on this and you get access to Dravia studio patreon page so you can support us and I will uh, say sorry for all the already patron I have that don't get access to the website uh, so i did not uh, expect the development of the integrated library to be uh, a bit longer so i did not want to make the secret available so i want to make a, i want to surprise you so this is the reason why i did not say much about it so i say sorry for all the guy already get as patron but remove their support because they don't ac get access to the to the to the website but today i'm sorry but today you have access to the entire library and you can support the project so everyone can get a lot of uh, assets a lot of uh, new feature inside of this uh, beautiful library and i hope you will do some pretty nice things so try to become a patron so we can make this uh, a good a good project so as you can see on the uh, the image here we have also some asset that we need to prepare to put inside of the project so there is a lot to come uh, in the next future so i hope you will support the project and so we can make great thing together okay the next thing is about uh, the Lusco engine. So now you no longer have to switch between OpenCL here. You have just CPU and GPU as uh, option. So you switch to GPU and as you already select the CUDA here or OpenCL, just the, the engine will just use uh, the CUDA API to work on your NVIDIA GPU. If you are an AMD, uh, an AMD uh, GPU just switch to GPU and it will use the open cell available so now you have another nice feature if you are in the CUDA version you have a nice feature here in the light sampling cache device okay sampling okay and the sampling part of the engine setting you have new different settings so you have the sobol sampler as always i like this sampler and you have the pattern the progressive one this is the old 
uh, the old uh, behavior of the score progressive rendering and you have another nice feature called cache friendly okay if you select cache friendly you get a new type of technique to render your scene so that the engine will be more friendly with your memory inside of your hardware what does it mean it means that for each uh, for each pass of the image that is rendered the engine will render 32 uh, sample for each pass of the engine before moving to another part so this helps the engine to save a lot of memory and it is a lot faster so cash friendly is around uh, 20 20 or 30 uh, percent faster than uh, progressive render so you can try it and it is there is also another feature if you are in progressive or cash friendly you get out of core and this feature is very nice because as you you know you have a limited amount of uh, gpu memory available for your for your rendering and if you have a big project with a lot of big assets and uh, you can go out of memory and you no longer have the opportunity to to render with your gpu and get the power of your gpu used inside of the rendering so if you want to uh to, to, to solve this issue you just check this box out of core and at this moment you get uh you get uh, your your rendering to be cached your your asset your texture and everything like in other render like uh, redshift and uh, many other rendering uh, render engine you get this new feature in this core with nvidia gpu you have the opportunity to get out of core rendering so if the scene is bigger than your, your your gpu memory so you can still render by clicking on this feature so this is it and for amd gpu it is also available but it is called hbcc it is available inside the driver of the gpu so by enabling this uh, feature i uh, if i remember well this feature is available available for uh for vega gpu and upper version of uh, amd gpu you go in the driver and you check out uh, uh, I bandwidth cache something like this and you get access to this feature so for Nvidia GPU it is available here you got to just have to check uh, out of core and you get uh, access to this new feature so this is all for this video so I hope you enjoy the, the, the tutorial about how to use this core and how to change uh, how to to set your lisco lol uh, library and how to support the project and i hope you will make a nice thing with this uh, this beautiful engine and beautiful asset and i hope you will support the project thank you for watching and if you have any question you you can ask and uh, so in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe so we get you inside of the community. Thank you for everything and see you the next time.